halal meat is an important religious requirement for many Muslims, but questions are now being raised about whether everything labeled halal really is halal. As Deepika Damola reports, some people are taking steps to make sure. Mehrabuddin Mansouri is buying meat at this Muslim-owned grocery store because it says it's really important for him that the meat be halal. The Muslim way, which is, we believe when we cut the animal blood, make sure all the blood go out. We like to stay away from the, the blood from the meat. For devout Muslims, meat has to be slaughtered and processed in a certain way. That meat is called halal. And signs such as this one saying halal meat sold here is an increasingly common sight around the GTA. Trouble is, just because the package says halal does not mean the meat is actually halal. At least, that's what Omar Subedar of the Canadian Council of Muslim Theologians warns. Unfortunately, many people, they just buy everything at face value. If it's got that sticker of halal on it, they will take it as halal. And it's very easy to write halal. It's only a five-letter word in, uh, in English. I can write something halal as well. It's not difficult. But the question arises, is it really halal? Now, it all started back in March of 2004 when some meat industry insiders came and complained to the Canadian Council of Muslim Theologians that many of the abattoirs who were claiming to produce halal meat were in fact not following strict Islamic procedures. And that's when the Council says it decided to launch its own investigation. This was a four-month investigation, and within that investigation, we had uh, um, approximately visited over 20 facilities, ranging from abattoirs to processing plants to retailers and so forth. And these were the, the main suppliers of halal, and we found many, many problems. And so Subhada says he and other Muslim theologians decided something had to be done. And that's how the Halal Monitoring Authority, or HMA, was born. The HMA was launched yesterday and it's patterned on the British model and will be operational soon here in Canada. For more information, you can visit hmacanada.org. For our news, I'm Deepika Bamirla.